Right, hello, this is the um, review of the my Roland FP7. I've had it about two years now. I love it very much, and you can see there the name Roland. And I'll take you through the controls there. There's um, volume, balance, and some keys I'm going to show you in a while. That's the main screen there, which shows you that the audio key is selected. We're going to play some Mountain John in a minute. With a, with a press of one button, we can play a WAV file. That's a display and there's various um, registers there organs, keys and electric pianos. That's the instrument section and you can obviously split the keyboard into bits and you can set the controls. Now that's the model of my Roland. The FP7. Roland FP7. It's an 88 keyboard. It's very heavy. It's in pristine condition and it's all ready to go. And the first feature I'm going to show you is the audio key. See that green light there? Is lit. It's one that you won't use very often, but if you if you do, it's quite staggering. The press of one key sets off a WAV file that you've stored. Hello, baby, hello. So it's playing a bit of Elton John, and you can play along to it by Obviously, just playing on the Wattin' keyboard. So we're going to move on now and take off the audio and the other feature is the session partner which is the other automated feature which I'm going to press now and you get a beat, 8 beat rock, you see there, with various levels of accompaniment and it's prompting you for the next chord, so there's A minor there and asking for C, so we'll give it a C. Try one more. That's um, the big rock. Loose rock. Ballad. Now, while we're playing, there's various jazz features and um, rock features you can. Uh, the transpose is brilliant because you can transpose your music um, any amount of semitones very quickly. The balance key, you can balance between the lower and upper register. So you've got a split keyboard and the volume obviously is obvious. So there we are. This is the Roland FB7 from the Swinner Studio and I'm going to sell it very soon.